Gospel and Homily for the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Through towns and villages, Jesus went teaching, making his way to Jerusalem. Someone said to him, Sir, will there only be a few saved? He said to them, Try your best to enter by the narrow door, because I tell you, many will try to enter and will not succeed. Once the master of the house has got up and locked the door, you may find yourself knocking on the door, saying, Lord, open to us, but he will answer. I do not know where you come from. Then you will find yourself saying, We once ate and drank in your company. You taught in our streets. But he will reply, I do not know where you come from. Away from me, all you wicked men. Then there will be weeping and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourselves turned outside. And men from east and west, from north and south, will come to take their places as the feast in the kingdom of God. Yes, there are those now last who will be first and those now first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. A man once stood up at a prayer meeting and he confessed that he'd been a drunkard, a wife beater, been unfaithful, aggressive, a jailbird, a robber. You name it, he'd done it. And then he stuck out his chest and he said with all sincerity, but I want to thank God that throughout those years I never lost my religion. The Gospel today is a warning against those who take their salvation for granted. Whenever it says in the Gospel that Jesus was making for Jerusalem, and it said that today, it's a symbolic way of saying he was about to embark on the way of the cross, which would involve rejection, humiliation, crucifixion, but ultimately resurrection. The devil had suggested to him in the desert to take the wide road of worldly power and recognition, or better still, captivate the crowd by doing some daredevil stuff like jumping off the roof of the temple. But we know that Jesus sent the devil packing after these temptations. For us, taking the narrow road of the cross may mean a run-in with people sold on today's woke culture, and if our views are somewhat different from theirs, being sidelined or cancelled out. But that's their problem. Following the narrow way of Jesus will almost certainly run counter to the wide road of the world. Discerning what's right or wrong solely on the strength of worldly wisdom alone would be a very unwise choice. People often make moral judgments, not on the basis of their Catholic faith, but from a purely worldly point of view, more often than not based on public opinion or a false ideology which they've become slaves of. They are like the locked out people in today's gospel who had only a peripheral knowledge of Jesus, but who never took his teaching very seriously. They could be described as fans of Jesus, but certainly not followers. So the question we could ask today, are we a fan of Jesus or a follower? Have you ever been nagged for being over the top with your religion or for trying too hard? However, maybe the real problem is that we're not trying hard enough. In today's Gospel, Jesus says, try your best 
to enter by the narrow door, because many will try to enter and will not succeed. This doesn't at all mean that we become artisans of our own salvation. Quite the contrary. It's about cooperating with the grace of God, without which no one can enter by the narrow gate. Some Christians pride themselves on being saved in the here and now, but this can betray a very dangerous spiritual smugness. Even the great Saint Paul was loath to entertain such notions. He said, I'm running in the race, but I'm far from thinking that I've already won the prize. Even though my conscience is clear, he said, that doesn't mean I'm acquitted. What does he mean by that? Well, he may have felt guilty at times about cutting corners when informing his conscience or making moral decisions based on personal feelings alone with scant regard for the objective truth. We all rightly hope and pray that our deceased loved ones are gone to a better place, but our ultimate destiny is in God's merciful hands. And if we're humble enough to rely on his mercy, we won't run out of narrow road until we enter paradise to take up the place reserved for us in heaven. Thank you all for listening today, and God bless you all.